everybody. Happy Sunday. So, uh, I hope everybody had a great New Year's Eve. I know it's been a while since I've streamed, uh, but I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, try to get back on the schedule. But we're doing it an hour earlier this time. So, um, I thought instead of doing it at 3 o'clock, we could do it at 2 o'clock since I know of a lot of you East Coasters <clears throat> have dinner around 5. So, hopefully that new time will work for everybody um and uh i'm glad that i'm finally back being able to stream with you guys and catch up with you every week to see what's been going on um as you can see i'm finally over my cold <laughs> i kind of sound human again so that's always nice um and i kind of talked a little bit on my impromptu live that i did earlier in the week um about that but yeah i'm feeling a lot better um i haven't been doing a lot of crafting uh, just because I really wasn't up to it, but I feel good and I'm glad to be able to start getting back into uh, my my crafting again. So what I thought we would do today is um, create um, create a little project that I made um, and I decorated during my 12 weeks of Christmas um, and a lot of people had asked how I actually made the little book so I thought maybe we'd make the little book. Um, and I see, um, uh, not afraid of color. <laughs> hey there, how are you doing? I'm so glad that you're able to catch me. Um, and, um, I've been watching some of your videos too. I see that you got the new Tim Holtz, uh, Sussex dies already. So that's, that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, um, I haven't ordered any yet. I kind of took a peek to see what was new out there, but I haven't ordered anything yet. So Tracy, uh, I'll have to live vicariously through you to see what kind of projects she'll be making. Um, and I'm sure I probably will get a little bit of ordering in myself. Um, but that's the plan for today, um, is to create that little book using my new kit love notes. And hopefully you guys, <coughs> hopefully you guys had a chance to check out the new kit. I know I uh, put out a video yesterday. Um, and... I uh, created, what did I create with that? Oh, the little matchbook. Um, so for my patrons that are crafting memberships and of course the Backstage Pass, you'll be getting that kit as part of your membership and, and that's always fun. Um, and uh, that will be going out in the uh, mail or tomorrow. So you'll be getting it via email tomorrow. Um, I know I said by the 4th, but I think I can go ahead and get it, get it out earlier so that'll come out tomorrow um hey suzanne happy new year to you um and tracy said you got them about for about a week on the dt uh design team for scrappy shack yeah that's cool that's really nice that you're able to get them early <clears throat> as part of the design team so that's awesome um and i've been doing a little bit of designing also for for sissix uh not for sissix i'm sorry for um um, oh gosh, how terrible, um, for, um, Spellbinders, and I have a few new dies of theirs as well that I'll be promoting over the next, uh, couple weeks or so, um, so yeah, just kind of doing a little bit of different things this next year, um, so, uh, probably we'll be also ordering some of the Sissix dies as well because... I always love to do that and torture myself with some of those really intricate die sets. <laughs> so, so I'm sure I will be doing that. <coughs> so yeah, um, so let's go ahead and transition down. Um, I wasn't quite, I didn't have everything quite cut out yet, um, but I wanna go ahead and share with you what I'm gonna be making for uh, today's session. Um, hello Cordelia, happy new year. Um, and uh, then we can kind of go from there. So hopefully you guys did see my new kit called uh, Love Notes, um, and it's really really a cute kit. Um, it's got all sorts of little uh, characters, and it's got like a mail theme going on um, with little vintage mailboxes and hearts, and super super cute. Um, so let me transition down, and um, we can get started. All right, camera one. Uh oh, you gotta see my messy desk here. It always starts this way. All right, 
So yeah, let me go ahead and get situated here. <coughs> we were actually at uh, my father-in-law's house uh, visiting him this morning. So I didn't get a chance to get everything cut out, but I got some of my things cut out. So we'll get it going on here. All right. Okay, so um, the the video I was uh, referencing was for my new kit called Love Notes, and I made this cute little matchbook here. Not with this design. I used my, um, I guess it was this design. I can't remember. But this is one of the papers, um, and then this is one of the papers as well. Um, and then I made just a little matchbook. Um, using um, these little uh, library cards that are in the kit um, and they're matchbooks so you can like, tear them out um, but just really really cute um, and I also made a little envelope that this fits perfectly into that's part of the kit uh, so that was just when I figured that out I was thrilled and I kind of um, I kind of had to size it to make sure it fit because it really is a cute little envelope. Thanks, Cordelia. Yeah, I was really excited that I was able to get the little matchbook to fit in here. So this is part of the kit as well, and it's already pre-designed uh, for you, so all you have to do is print and cut, and that was my goal. Um, and um, what else? What else? Uh, oh, when, so when I was playing around with my little envelope, which I was thrilled with, I realized that this little booklet that I made for Christmas, and you guys probably remember this, right? It also fits pretty well in here. It's a little bit bulky, but it fits. So I thought we would go ahead and um, make this, but in a Valentine's theme, if you guys are up for that. So that's what I thought we would do. <coughs> I always like to be able to give you ideas on how to use the kits. Um, so I went ahead and I started pre-cutting out some of my images and then I ran out of time and I realized, oh no, I have to start streaming. So I, uh, I'm going to have to take a minute and finish cutting everything out. Um, but we can definitely, we can definitely, uh, figure this out. So this little envelope is from of the, is from Sissix's, um, what is this? This is the specimen, I believe. Yeah. And then I also have the, uh, the field notes, which is of course the coin envelope. And then all I did was fold it in half, um, to create the mini envelope. And then of course this little piece here is also from, uh, specimen. So it folds really nicely. Dies are wonderful, aren't they? I mean, all you gotta do is just have your paper and you're ready to go. You're ready to go. All right. So, uh, yeah, so I have a few little things and then I cut out a couple of tabs too. I thought tabs would be fun, just, just in case. I haven't decided exactly what I'm doing. Um, but I still need to cut out this. So you guys are gonna have to give me a minute here. Um, so, let's see here. And I have to be careful because remember when I'm doing this, I'm folding it in half and I want to make sure that my images are going the right way. So on this one, it folded up to create little pockets, but I'm thinking maybe one of them I'll just have as pages and then my second one I'll have as a pocket and then that way it won't be as bulky because remember when you have it as the file folder um, it, it's double double papered double papered <laughs> double paper um, but let me think about this <coughs> so it's one file folder so that might that might not work yeah I'm gonna have to print out another one, I think. So you guys are gonna to need to give me a minute while I print out some more paper. Um, hey, Robin, 
thanks for joining us. Happy New Year. Um, so I'm going to do that really quickly here. Like I said, when I was uh, getting ready to uh, go live, I realized that I didn't have everything printed out. So I'm going to do that really quickly here. So give me just one moment. Okay, so that is printing, uh, and let's see here. <clears throat> it's the thing about lives, right? It's probably a good idea to have everything <laughs> printed and ready to go, but if I was just using regular design paper, it would be no problem, but of course, I am using my own design paper so I want to make sure I have it all printed okay so that's printing and then I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out but in the meantime while that's printing let's go ahead and get this folded <clears throat> so this design is is really easy so you're just cutting out your dies and of course scoring them where they need to be scored and as you can see, I had a little bit of, of a border here, but that's not a big deal. I'm just going to glue that shut here. Um, and let's see here. Actually, you know what? I don't glue it shut because I use it as a little pocket. So let's, let's distress that really quickly here. Get rid of that white. Okay. So what did everybody do last night? We had a uh, pretty uneventful night which was fine by me um we just stayed in and watched we um binge watched the jack ryan series that um was on so that was that was fun um and we did it throughout the day all right so when you fold this you want to make sure that they're lined up i'm just gonna kind of find my little score here chair napped I love it, Tracy. <laughs> oh, yes. All right, so let me find my little fold here. Uh, I love a good afternoon chair nap. They're, unfortunately, they're going to be ending for me because I'm going to have to go back to work on Tuesday. I know, boo-hoo for me. But... I've enjoyed my time off. It's been really, really nice. <coughs> All right, so I've got my score line going on here. And I wanna make sure it is right side up. And you're not gonna fold over these because these are gonna be quite part of the book. Uh, <laughs> woke up at midnight with all the noise and went back to bed. I hear ya. We actually stayed up to midnight, um, like I said, watching movies, um, which was fine. All right. So I just added a little distress. Sometimes when you fold your paper, it will crack a little bit, but you know, I don't, I don't mind stuff like that. Um, 
I know some people get all worried about perfection, but but if you've watched me craft for a while, you know I don't I don't get hung up on perfection. <coughs> all right, so there is that. So let me go ahead and cut cut this out really quickly here. Oh boy, you guys. All right. So I did it again. I cut this the wrong way because again, my fold is going to go this way and I want my little, I want my mailbox to be in the right direction. But you know what? For those of you that don't have the die, we're going to figure out how to do this without the die. All right. So we want it to be folded. We're going to have to do a little engineering y'all. <clears throat> so this is the length we can figure this out right we're crafters all right so Robin you did a little shopping at my in my shop let's see all right so we want it to be five okay so five right you know what do they always say measure twice cut once well I should have paid attention <coughs> to what I was cutting because I cut it ah my Instagram so yes I'm gonna be posting some more later today um, I've got some really cute stickers in fact maybe I'll use some um, but yeah, all right, so yeah, I got some really cute uh, stickers that I took photos of and I'm gonna get ready to add to my shop, but I always post on Instagram first. All right, so I should have, I should have cut the border off first. <clears throat> so let's, let's do that really quickly. And then this will be five. And I printed on some of my cardstock that I already had, so I didn't have to do a double print. But you can. I mean, no, no big deal, right? All right, so here is the length. It's going to get folded in half, so that would be two and a half. Don't you hate having to do math? All right, so there is that. And it's going to go like this, right? Maybe trim it up a little bit more. We'll see. And then it has a little file folder. So this is, I don't know, about, about right there, I guess. <laughs> Somewhere around here. Maybe this one. All right. I don't think it's quite three, but let's, let's go for it. And then that's going to be like that. And then I'm going to cut off just a bit. This paper is really, really cute. 
I love the little postal theme. It's just really fun. All right, so there's that. Let's see. Do a little trimming. See. I want to make it even. You know when you haven't crafted for a while and it's like you forget how to do everything? That's kind of how I feel today. I haven't done a lot of crafting because I had been sick. <clears throat> See, that's a little bit too long. Um, bop, 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 bop. You know what? That's alright. You guys will get the idea. It'll be a little long, right? And then when you open it up, you got your little little file. I'm gonna... Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna trim this a bit, and then I'll trim this a bit. We're gonna make it work, you guys. If you uh, join today to try to learn something... You're going to learn how to see Monica figure out things that she's messed up on. All right, so there's that. And then I'm going to trim this a bit. All right. So what's everybody up to today? Anything exciting? Yeah, that's better. Anything exciting going on? And then I think these need to be a little bit smaller. Okay, so let me trim this a bit. And then I'll trim this a bit. All right, and then I'm going to use... See, it's a lot easier with the die, right? Because then you don't have all these scraps. All these scraps going on. Um, that's okay. And then this is gonna go here. Let me do a little trimming. There we go. And then I'm gonna use my corner rounder. All right, just because I want to. All right, so for those of you that don't have the specimen die, right, I went ahead and kind of created my own file folder here, and it measures, I'll give you some measurements. <clears throat> it measures uh, about four and a quarter by five. And then I fold it at about two. So that's my make do file folder because I printed and cut it incorrectly. <coughs> See, I shouldn't have cut it in half and I did, but that's okay, I made it work. Okay, so now that you have your little make do file folder and you have your um, coin envelope, Basically, it's just a little book. So uh, you're gonna want to get some sort of string or something to bind it together. Um, but first you wanna make sure it's going the right direction, of course. And then this little doodad here is going to go in the middle here. Um, and I know my hearts are going the wrong direction, but that's, that's fine, it's no big deal. Um, and then that will be um, in the middle kind of like this here see all right so let's get a needle and let's get our all which is on my desk here somewhere uh, if you don't have an all you can always just use your needle and then we'll get some tape or so <laughs> some tape some string so let me I think that'll work, right? And we're going to punch a hole. So let me figure this out. Where's my all? 
When I literally say I was not prepared, I, literally not prepared, um, there it is. Okay, so let's go ahead and punch our holes. And I'm going to do two holes. So I'm going to do, I'm going to do, I don't know, I'm just going to eyeball it, I think. So one about here, I guess. And I need... This will work, but I have a little foamy thing that I usually <coughs> poke into. But again, I don't know where it's at. So let's do this. Let's see here. I kind of want this. How did I do this one? I'm trying to remember how I did this. Okay, so here's that. Oh, this was longer. That's why. All right, that's cool. <clears throat> so this will go here, I don't know, somewhere around here, I guess, right? There you go. And then there's that one, and then this one will go, I don't know. Uh, somewhere around here, I guess. Pretty easy, right? And then just get your needles. Needle. You only need one. There you go, and that's not too thick. Uh, let's go this one, I guess. It's like drawing straws, right? And then let's just get a little bit of thread. You don't you don't need much. And then we're going to tie it so the string is on the outside. So if you want to attach a little a little uh, I don't know trinket or something, you can do that. All right. So very very simple, right? Just. You're just going to sew this. And then sew this. And then tie it. Let me put this in the needle away so I don't lose it. So, let's do a little knot here. Oh, look at I forgot to put this through. See, you guys, I'm a hot mess today. Uh, well, good thing I didn't uh, knot it, right? Okay, so this is going to go here like this. That hole will work okay, but this one won't. Talking to myself, you guys. Um, yeah, I'm just going to do it even, I think. I think I'm going to try to... Let me see if this will work. See, this is me getting back into crafting, trying to figure things out. All right. And I'm using wax thread because it goes through the paper really nicely. All right, so we're going to do this again. But this time, I want to see if maybe I can just kind of, just kind of put this in here. And then 
we'll just do, I don't know if this is going to work. We'll see. All right. And then before I close it, let's see if I can just kind of stick this in here. And that should work, right? Okay. Okay, so now I have that in there. Ordinarily, I would probably have punched a hole, but I didn't. So I'm going to make it work. Alright, so there's that. And let's tie this knot here. Kind of snuggy. All right, and there's your little book. So really easy, right? And this is going to be glued shut, so I'm not too concerned about that. Ordinarily, I would have punched holes, uh, but I didn't this time, but I'm okay with that. All right. <coughs> so now that we have our book together, again, again, you can add little gems or little jewels or whatever. Um, now you can decorate it. Let me go ahead and figure out what I want to put in the middle here. I was thinking about putting maybe like a little valentine or something. How cute, huh? <laughs> That's cute. Um, so just something like that or let's see what else I have here on my desk. <clears throat> maybe a smaller one. Let's see. Oh, she's cute. They're cute too, right? Probably they would fit, I would think. Um, sweet. All right, so yeah, let's see if we can maybe fit this one. Just cut off a little bit on this side because I want it to be framed. That's cute. What do you guys think? That's sweet, isn't it? All right, and then I guess we'll be cutting off some of this as well. So let me figure out exactly how to frame this. So it's just above right there right and then a little bit off of there it's pretty close maybe a little bit more all right <clears throat> and then i'm going to glue this make sure i have it within the frame So there it is. Uh, and let's see where are my scissors. Cut a little bit more off of the bottom here. There you go. That'll work. All right, so there's the little kids in the frame. That's cute. And then I'm going to see what I can do these are some of the stickers that I have in my Instagram and in my shop um, they're little miniature vintage inspired stickers really really cute 
So if you are interested, <coughs> they come. They come in rolls like this, and I, like I said, I've been adding them to my shop. So um, I have a whole box full of these that I got to get added to the shop. But I've been playing with them as well. So let's see if maybe we can add little stickers. Okay. Well, you know what? I like. This, and I'll put this right here. Kind of like this on the side. if I can fix this. That's right. This letter. And then I have these little characters here that I can put. Uh, little Valentine. These are from some of my older Valentines. I thought maybe I could I don't know, just add them. I thought they'd be cute. <sighs> so does everybody have off tomorrow as well, or do you have to go back to work? Uh, we're taking Max into um, the vet tomorrow to get him checked out. Um, so, and they were open, so I guess I just take for granted that companies close you know when the holidays fall on the weekend but I guess that's not always the case so is anybody working tomorrow or do you have to go back to work or do you get to <laughs> do you get to have the day off um, okay so that's a cute little valentine that can add right <clears throat> and then within my kit I had <coughs> I had sized down these little these little sentiments that you can use and I think they're perfect for this little booklet all right so let me just trim this down and then glue this Say be mine right here. And then let's put see this is open as a little pocket, so you could put little things in here if you wanted to. Uh, got another little Valentine here. I think I'll put her 
more towards this to cover my upside down hearts maybe something like that all right okay so i'm just smoothing this off and then i'll put the little character here And then you have your little pocket here still. All right. And then let's see for this one. I think for this one, I'm going to use this cute little couple. So let me just fussy cut this really quick here. Uh, I like my white scissors for fussy cutting. I need to get my scan and cut out and cut up some of these little characters so I have them all cut out already um, but I just printed them I don't know if I'm gonna be making a lot of Valentine's Day cards this year um, I just I don't send them out um, so what are other types of cards that I can make this winter you guys give me some suggestions because I don't, I don't know if I want to spend a month making Valentine's Day cards. It's usually what I do in January, and I'm thinking maybe, maybe not. Um, I do have my travel journal class coming up. I've already had a few people register, so that's nice. Um, so I'm going to be actually working on putting those kits together that's cute <coughs> hey debbie happy new year so the the travel journal the map journal class is going to be fun because i'm going to be including in the kit actual vintage items along with some reproduced items. Um, so that will be fun. Especially if you've never owned uh, vintage items. All right, so let's get this. All right, so there's that one. It's a cute little Valentine's. And let's see my little detective cute right <laughs> all right so let's add him okay and then of course we've got this little tab here and then let's see see where are my other valentines my other valentines they're on here somewhere there they are i got the little male girl some of these might be too big She's cute, isn't she? She might be too big, though. Mm. Well, we'll, give her, we'll give her a try. Oh, I could use some of my little dolls. These are cute. So these are part of the kit. Cute, huh? Um, yeah, let's use one of the couple of the little dolls. 
So whenever I'm creating kits, I always have all these. I always have these printouts that I've been playing with. Um, so I saw Debbie suggested thank you cards. Yeah, that's that is a good idea because you can never have too many of those. Um, and when I create thank you cards, I put them in. When I have an abundance, I put them in some of my orders that people order from me. Um, so yeah, that's that's a good idea. And then I was thinking, I don't make a lot of birthday cards. I'm gonna try to do better this year um, in sending out birthday cards. You know, as a card maker, I'm real good about making cards. Not not so great about mailing them. Although, I have to say, I, I did do a good job this year of sending out lots of Christmas cards. Uh, and then I saw that the, <laughs> the post office is raising the price of stamps again. Are they trying to get us not to mail items? I mean, I, I truly think they're trying to force us to not mail items. <laughs> I mean, why would they keep raising their prices so often? Um, and then I'm going to make potato salad after I'm done here. So I had to buy some eggs. $5.99 for a dozen of large eggs. That's just highway robbery, robbery, you guys. I don't, I don't know when it became so expensive to buy staples for the house. I mean, bread, milk, and eggs, right? Those are our staples. And the stores have the audacity to charge us $5.99 for a dozen eggs. I just blew my mind. I mean, I'm not going to talk politics here, but it's going to be nice to have some things changed in this country. Um, I don't know how a working family can support a family anymore and then we won't even talk about the stock market you guys at this rate I'm going to be working till I'm 90 um, but ups and downs right I just hope that when everything gets back to normal whatever normal is that the grocery stores <coughs> We'll lower their prices. Um, I would hate to think that they're going to continue to keep high prices. But you never know. All right, so let's put these two little characters here. All right, so thank you cards was one of the ideas. Does anybody have any birthday cards? Of course, are always good. Um, any other ideas for cards? I mean, maybe just... I mean, spring, it seems awfully early to do, be doing spring, but maybe some spring cards. I don't know. I have some cute little dies, like I said, that I got from Spellbinders that I'm going to make some cards for. Um, so we'll see. All right. So there's the cute, cute two little, <laughs> the two little characters. So cute, right? Um, and then see what we can do here and then of course what I love about these little books seventy one degrees wow it's awesome we're expecting ah I was just they were expecting snow and I looked up the window and it's snowing uh, so yeah it's not seventy one degrees here fun yeah we had an early snow um, and now we've just had our second snow, so that's pretty cool. Uh, so, yeah, I won't be going anywhere tonight. Uh, I'm just getting some of my remnant rubs out here. Mm. Some more of my remnant rubs. Yep, 
Yeah, we've been promised snow for the last week, so it's nice to finally see it here. I know everybody doesn't feel the same about snow, but I, I like winter weather. Um, I know it's not for everybody, but I truly don't mind it, especially if I don't have to go out in it. Uh, okay, so this is not cooperating. Yeah, that's not going to come off. All right, so that's wasted. Let's see if I can find <clears throat> another one here. Airmail. Yeah. Let's do airmail here. So, <clears throat> 71 degrees, that's nice. <laughs> that is some great weather. You're in Mississippi, right? Um, Tracy? I was going to call you Terry there for a minute. Um, right, uh, Tracy, you're in Mississippi, is that right? <coughs> Tina, where are you? What are, how are you guys getting the 71 degree weather? Alabama, okay. I knew it was one of the southern states. Okay. Wow, 72 degrees. You guys get the humidity though, right, um, in Alabama during the summer, summer months? If I don't, if I recall. You know, my husband wants to uh, go do some camping, take the trailer and do some camping on, in some of the uh, southern states. We haven't been, I mean, we've been to Louisiana, um, been through Georgia. Not too bad in the north part, not like the south Alabama. Okay. Yeah, I know Florida obviously is it's very humid. I was there one year um, for my company is out in Jacksonville. And, oh my god, it was so humid. It was awful. Um, terrible. We go to Key West. I don't want to say a lot, but we've been there several times, um, and we only go, <laughs> we only go in like January, February months. And of course, they've got the hurricanes to contend with as well. All right. <clears throat> so just adding some of my little remnant rubs here little character so cute and then of course you can you know add things in here as well um, this is Christmas but I'll give you guys the idea it's a little pocket right that you can stick things in so you've got you know a pocket here you've got a pocket here um, and let's put a couple more characters <coughs> went to Key West for our honeymoon. Yeah, we love Key West. My uh, my husband has this grand idea to take the trailer and they have some really, really nice campgrounds along the Keys, not necessarily in Key West. Um, and then he wants me to work from the trailer, which I can as long as I had good cell phone coverage to be able to remote into my company. Uh, but yeah, he wants to spend like a month there. I would hate to get out there though and find that I can't connect <laughs> to my, through my VPN. That, that would be a problem. Um, but 
we uh our trailer i think i shared with you guys last year our trailer had been in the shop for so many months in in 2022 and we are itching to take it out so as soon as we don't have to winterize it once the freezing weather passes we are going to take some trips even if they're just small trips we're just itching to get that trailer out we had a, a slide you know for the kitchen where the uh, the table goes out and that was not to working for us so we got it fixed and then we got it home and it still wasn't working and it had to go back in the shop so we were not happy about that <coughs> but it seems to be it seems to be working now so we'll see it's working until you try to use it right <sighs> I I truly hope we don't have to put it back in the shop um, but we, we've used it a few times now and they showed us a trick where if it gets stuck halfway, how to how to reset it, I guess is what they called it. Um, so now that we know the trick, I mean, it would have been nice if they showed us that trick when we bought it. Um, that's okay. All right, so let's get these two little characters glued down. here I guess right there's one and there's two good yeah. that's cute right Trust coverage in the sup is, well, not the best. Yeah, I, see, the way that it works is we'd have to connect through my cell service. <coughs> so is that, trust coverage, is that cell or is that internet? Um, hurricane season is late summer, early fall, so come in the spring. Yeah, so uh, we would probably be doing the early winter months like january february march once it starts getting too warm forget it ain't gonna do it all right so there we go that's cute right let me just do another valentine one maybe for the back but yeah these books are really easy and like i said um when you go to cut your paper with oh. your Folder. Just make sure your your images are going the right direction. That's always important, right? Um, and I have some little tabs here. Let's see if maybe we can add my tabs. Uh, let's see. So maybe a tab here. That'd be cute. Where are my tabs? All right. Uh, Let's do a little tab here, maybe. And then we'll put, I know, I'll put a little label on it. February is cute. <coughs> Cell coverage. Okay, yeah. See, so I would, I would have to make sure 
that I had good cell coverage because that's how I connect through my VPN. Um, so I don't know. We had the idea of also doing like maybe an Airbnb for like a month somewhere. And then I can, you know, work and then part of it could be vacation. I don't know. We'll have to, we'll have to figure it out, I guess. Okay. That's not going to work. So February is going to go here. I have to get a smaller label. Let's see if I can find a smaller one. Uh, love, that'd be cute, right? Love is a small word <clears throat> with a big meaning. Oh, thanks, Tina. I feel like I'm not doing it justice, though, because I didn't, <coughs> I didn't cut it out correctly, but I'm making it work. Uh, let's see, all right, so we'll put this here. That, oh, that fits. So there's love. Oh, how cute. It is cute, isn't it? And... Oh, we got to put something there, right? Okay, so we got love there. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Got to be like a four kiss, maybe? Forever Cherish, Adore Roses, or maybe a Remnant Rub. Let's see what I have for those. Poison. <laughs> Add Poison for a Valentine's Day card. Let's see, these are just all my scraps, you guys. Let's see. Frightful magic. And I should be able to find something, I would think. I'm just looking through my stuff on my desk. Oh, here's these. Maybe hugs, hugs would work, right? H U G S. All right, so we are almost done here. I am coming up on a little over an hour. <coughs> how was uh? How was? Craft Roulette, um, I saw that Biddy Penny hosted it. Um, so did anybody have the chance to watch it? I was kind of watching it a little bit, um, the replay. Um, but like I said, I haven't been doing much crafting when, when I was sick. Um, but hoping to change that. Cute. And then I'm going to put one more here. Uh, let's put, let's see, did we put the little, okay, we got that one. We got her. We got the little detective, right? There he is right there. Uh, oh, I know, I'll do. Let's see. Oh, I was going to do her in the back. Okay. Cordelia, you watched it. You said it was a good, good show. Good. I'm glad. I'm glad to hear that. Um, I'm sure Biddy did a did a great job. <laughs> Poor
poor Mary probably has thought I've abandoned <laughs> playing. I just, like I said, I haven't been doing a lot of crafting. Um, but I will get back into the swing of things. Um, I'm going to, like I said, if you are a Patreon, um, I am going to be getting your kit out to you probably tomorrow. Um, no later than Tuesday. <coughs> so if you want to become a Patreon of my channel, you will get a kit of the month. And this month, like I've said, is my love notes, which is the paper I'm playing with right now and some of the little images. And I do have a video out there where I created, let me get my little character here, where I created the matchbook. And these are some of the items that were in the, uh, love notes kit this month so if you haven't checked out that video be sure to check it out oh you know what I think I might do will that work maybe use it as a tie I don't know I'll think about that I might put a little a little uh, charm there I haven't decided yet all right but I think that for the most part we'll do it and then I have little clips around here somewhere that I can also just clip this shut if I want to but I don't know I'll figure that out but that's how easy it is to put this little book together uh, like I said, I had some people ask me. Oh, Debbie, thank you. Oh, you're so sweet. Um, but I had some people ask me <coughs> how to put this together. Um, so I wanted to just give you guys a quick tutorial. Really easy, especially if you have, if you have the dies. Um, and it makes a cute little book and then it has little pockets here um, so super super fun um, and of course I always want to thank my patreons um, I have a few new patreons this month um, uh, I've got my creator membership which you will get a kit of the month and welcome Karen and Georgiana, those are my two new Patreons. Um, and then Terry Matheson um, is a new fan member. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you guys supporting my channel. And I hope to continue to bring you good content, um, fun kits, <laughs> and great tutorials along the way. That is always my goal. Um, so I truly appreciate that. Um, and... I, uh, like I said, if you are one of my Patreons <coughs> and you do have the creator membership, you will be getting the kit of the month, which is my love notes. So I will be getting that out for you. And, um, Debbie, I'm going to send you this little book because I appreciate you contributing to my channel. Um, you are a great friend and a great supporter. So I thank you kindly, um, for that. Um, so I'm going to be sending this cute little Valentine's uh, book out to you. And I'm going to stick some of my little ephemera pieces in here for you as well. It's just, it's really cute. It's just something you can put on your book or your desk. See, I don't need this to be quite. Something you can put on your desk. And it's just a cute little, I don't know, it's just a cute little decoration for Valentine's Day. So uh, I thank you. I thank you for that. Um, so that's all I have today, you guys. Um, I will... <clears throat> be scheduling my um, my weekly crafty chats with you guys on Sundays and as you saw I started at 2 o'clock which will be my normal starting channel time <laughs> um, and that is the time I will start from now on 
Um, and remember, if you do decide to make this little book with the kit, it does fit nicely into that little envelope. Um, so be sure to uh, take advantage of that. That's just always fun. Um, so that's all I have for you guys today. Um, yeah, Debbie, I will definitely. I was thinking about that. I haven't been doing. <coughs> I haven't been doing any collabs just because I wasn't sure how uh, reliable I would be being so sick for for so long, um, and that's why I wasn't able to do your celebration hop as well. <coughs> uh, but even though I am coughing a little bit, um, I, believe me, I feel a hundred percent better. A little a little bit of that cough still lingers, but. Nothing like it was, for sure. Um, I can go days without coffee, and then sometimes it just kind of comes back. <coughs> um, I might eventually go see um, an expert for it if I can't get it under control. We'll see. Uh, but anyway, enough about that. Um, so, yeah. So, Debbie, I'm going to get this in the mail to you, um, and you and I will have to definitely talk about um, doing some collaboration work this year. Uh, but in any case, I hope you guys all have a fantastic uh, new year. Um, and I hope to see you in my crafty channel <laughs> um, in 2023. Um, and hopefully we'll be, make, be able to make some fun projects. All right, you guys. I will see you later. And.